Hello fellow Bookquesters, it's I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I'll introduce you to this almighty, good old prosper reading book. The Last Life of Prince Al, also known as Prince Alastor, by Alexandra Bracken. The ghastly end is near. This book is about Prosperity Redding, who prefers to be called Prosper. As you may not or, or, or do remember, or you haven't read the first book at all, but, but you should because you have no idea what is happening if you don't read the first book. So at this book, The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding, the first book of the series, um, so Prosper Redding is like, is an idiotic red ink and his family has made a secret pact with a demon named Alastor who happens to be a malefactor prince who rules downstairs the demonic realm and in this book this is like the conclusion to that story after all what what is past is prologue as they mentioned a lot in this book and and so, the last time we've seen Prosper and our charming little demonic parasite, also known as Alastor, or also known as fluffy little kitten-looking fox, we, they are, they have been sucked in down, the Prosper has made a contract with Alastor, and now they're going in downstairs to rescue Prue's, um, Prue's sister and Alastor to right Pyra. There they find, Alastor finds uh, downstairs very different from what, 400 years ago, I think? And yep, he was rather surprised and stunned by, by what has happened to his real head, to his beloved kingdom. Um, the, the, the lowest of the lowest of the lowest goblins, hobs, they could own homes, and they were treating others, other nobles, other noble vampires, and other noble fiends like pieces of crap. And that is very, very, very unsettling for him. And Alastor, he thought all the people would welcome him back into this world. He was the rightful heir after heir after all. But she was rejected by his people and they were only loyal to Pyra. And that she was very shocked too. And as as they find as they find new things to worry about kind of, um, Prosper finds out that Nell has fouled him into the realm. And she was very sorry, and she wants to help Prosper Redding. And this time, they're gonna they're gonna rescue Prue and get the heck out of here. But uh, as Alastor is stunned to find, the Void is destroying the realm. The Void, the realm collapse, collapsing upon itself, sucking half of the kingdom, destroying it. And now only a small portion of his beloved kingdom remains. And so, basically, Prosper goes to rescue Prue. And then Alastor suddenly becomes really bad and suddenly just does, does goes to Pyra's side. But then the contract stated that Alastor will, will, will help plot Prosper get free get Prue what the heck out of that realm into their original realm and he could not obey or could he could not disobey his own contract and meanwhile Prosper Prosperity Redding had all had already um got the freaking thing had uh, had an ID has new um Alastor's Alastor's secret name and that was rather stunning for Alastor, but Prosper knew that he was becoming more and more like Honor Redding, so he didn't do anything to compel the malefactor. He let it have its own free will. And soon enough, an elf reveals that there were uh, there is actually only three realms in the first place, 
and the and the fiends had taken over the ancient realm and turned it into the fiends realm, and that elves were ancients. The ancients, the ancients were actually elves, and they had the most powerful of the most powerful. And the elves were angry at the fiends. And the fiends were actually a mistake. When they had come to the human realm, they, they saw human as easy to work with. And they saw some goodness in them. But they also saw evil, miraculous hatred. And so they just simply decided to deal with it and cut out that part of a human. But that from their ground monsters, demons, fiends. Malefactors, and that was the birthplace. That was the birthplace. The eternal mistake that the that the freaking guys made. That no, I mean the elves made. That that created the the great freaking fiends, and that's kind of sad for them. But now the void is destroying the fiend realm. And the last door to agree, Nguyen knows that she has to obey his own contract, and so he takes Prue and Prosper out of that realm. But then, when he opened the portal, he said to Pyra that they could lead all the fiends in this realm and turn that into downstairs. And that was like, what the? Oh, come on, Al. Couldn't you do just one good thing in your fully demonic, parasite ish life? I was like that, basically. And then, and then Prosper was surprised to find that his grandmother was actually Goody Redding, and she was a witch too. And the Raven Feather Coven defended the realm, and it all had a happy ending. And this, and I could relate to Prosper. He he was kind of being bullied, and yeah, I know how this feels. But only the minor, minor like. Like one one hundredth of what Prosper was feeling before he before the malefactor and that thing, and and the story ends with Alastor and Prosper becoming pen pals or something like that, and it's a very good ending, and 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 uh, um Prosper had gone through all, uh, the whole book is not just fantasy but. Prosper had gone through his trials of his life, and he had actually saved his own realm, kind of in the process. And Alastor had finally done something good in his demonic life, and so I'd say that Alexa, that Alexandra Bracken is a very good author. And like always, a bookquester, earn the bookquester.